Well, as we remember and honor those lives lost 21 years ago, a local first responder is speaking out about his time helping in the aftermath of our nation's worst terrorist attack. NBC 15's Corey Pippen is live in the studio with us tonight. Corey, Baldwin County's sheriff was at ground zero and assisted in search and recovery efforts. Kim Sheriff Huey Haas Mack worked on a special recovery team and spent time sifting through the rubble trying to find victims. Angela Amaranto, James M. Amato. The names of the nearly 3,000 people lost 21 years ago will never be forgotten. From New York to the Alabama Gulf Coast, the attacks on September 11th brought countless people together and left millions with the memory of where they were. The world changed forever. Everybody came together. Everybody during that time was one thing. They were American. It didn't matter if you were from New York City, if you were from Alabama, if you were from anywhere, it didn't matter race, uh, gender. Baldwin County Sheriff Huey Haas Mack was a deputy at the Baldwin County Sheriff's Office in 2001. After the attacks, he got a call to work with New York City's Medical Examiner's Office as a part of their disaster mortuary response team, attempting to find victims in the rubble at Ground Zero. Some are still yet unidentified. Uh, there are still some portions of remains that have not been identified uh, because of the severity of the incident. Sheriff Mack spent weeks assisting first responders in the daunting effort. To this day, he gets emotional. With tears in his eyes, he remembers the response volunteers got from a local man when they arrived. When he said that your presence is everything that is good here, that really touched all of us because it just showed the great appreciation that the New York people had for people who came from all over the country. Uh, to help them during that time. Sheriff Max says the teamwork between law enforcement, volunteers, and other first responders was inspiring, and he believes we're better as a country because of the way we handled that tragedy. Kim? Corey, thank you. As we go into our weekend, we're going to continue bringing you coverage of events honoring first responders and remembering 9-11. You can follow the stories by going to our website, mynbc15.com.